glutagenic, high potency glutathione products that are absorbable into your body and into your brain. Glutathione is your body's master antioxidant. Visit glutagenic.com to explore glutathione. Dr. John Laurence, and today I'd like to talk to you about cysteine. See, sick people, whether they're acutely sick or they're chronically sick, generally have low glutathione levels. So they have low levels of this master antioxidant that's quenching all of the negative harmful effects of oxidative stress in their body. And sick people have more of a demand for glutathione, yet they have a lower supply. So that can be very important for anybody looking to heal or get better from either a chronic or acute um, injury or uh, disease process. So as I've mentioned before, glutathione handcuffs toxins and chaperones them out of the body. Glutathione is made of a, a sulfur helix and it's like flypaper to attract toxins. Foods that are generally high in glutathione are asparagus, avocados, raw milk, and walnuts. Raw is an important aspect of this because when you cook it, you denature the proteins and so you make it so it's not um, able to produce glutathione for you. So when you're able to eat raw, it's always going to be better. And the, one of the main reasons is because it keeps all the proteins intact and its ability for it to produce glutathione is heightened. So the reason that we're going to talk about cysteine today is because cysteine is one of the three building blocks that your body uses to produce glutathione. You have glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. And the most scarce amino acid is cysteine. And that's why if you're low with cysteine, that can make the biggest impact on your body's ability to produce glutathione. So looking at things that are rich in cysteine is important. Now one thing to, to understand is that they've actually done studies and they found that if you just supplement with cysteine, it just doesn't work very well. The body breaks cysteine down in the gut when it's by itself. So if you're going to do a supplement, you'd want to look at N-acetylcysteine or NAC is what they call it. Now N-acetylcysteine is really an amazing supplement. I've taken it personally and I've had great results with it. I felt better. Um, they use N-acetylcysteine or NAC in the hospitals for people with acute acetaminophen um, toxicity or other chemical toxicity. So they basically hook you up with an IV and they run this natural um, nutraceutical called N-acetylcysteine and it basically gets your body's glutathione levels up so that you can clear out these toxins. So N-acetylcysteine, because it's a dimer of um, sulfur uh, containing um, cysteine, it's somewhat protected in the gut and you're able to absorb it. And this cysteine level, basically this injection of cysteine into the system, because it's rate limiting with most folks, allows your body to produce more glutathione. So N-acetylcysteine is a big, um, um, a great supplement to use to enhance glutathione levels. Foods that are high in cysteine include raw eggs, unprocessed meats, garlic, and onions. Now, um, you'll notice that, you know, eat it, again, like I said before, eating raw can be better with regards to these preservations of the amino acids. When you denature protein, then it's like when you cook meat, it, it, it changes its, its, its look. Like chicken goes from being kind of somewhat clear to white, and that's what's called denaturing it. And so the amino acid cysteine, which is um, a, a protein, it, it, it's a, it's a um, amino acid that makes protein. When you denature these amino acids, you destroy them. Now, something to consider would be undenatured whey protein. And because you can't take the isolate of cysteine, your body just doesn't do well with it. It breaks it down in the gut and so forth. Something called undenatured whey protein can be a great source of, of cysteine absorption into your body. Now, it's important that the whey protein is undenatured, which means that they haven't used chemicals or heat to break it down. Undenatured protein has some wonderful benefits to enhancing glutathione levels. All right, so I'd like to talk to you a little bit about selenium. Now, if you remember, I talked to you about how glutathione detoxifies the body by handcuffing toxins and chaperoning them out of the body. Well, that handcuffing is, is that whole process is based on enzymes. And these enzymes have certain nutrients that they need in order to do their work. Selenium is a nutrient that is incredibly important for this whole handcuff or flypaper mechanism to actually work for uh, glutathione to, to do its job. And selenium is something that's very um, 
uh, poor levels in soil. So there's a lot of soils that have been um, basically farmed over and over and over again, and so there's a lot of minerals that have been um, taken out of the soil. They call that empty harvest. Whole nother topic. And so if food has been um, 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 planted and farmed in selenium uh, poor uh, concentrations in the soil, then you're going to have selenium poor food. Foods that are generally high in selenium are going to be Brazil nuts. Like Brazil nuts have a lot of selenium. And so one way to get your selenium in would be to eat two to four Brazil nuts every day. Or you can go to your, your grocery store or your health food store and you're probably going to want to take about 150 to 200 micrograms per day to get a good supply of selenium. Other sources of selenium include grains, meats, and seafood. So look at selenium. Selenium is, a, is another pearl I would suggest um, getting on board with selenium. Take a look at N-acetylcysteine, look at um, denatured whey protein, and you're also going to want to look at cysteine-rich foods. We talked about all of those Remember, today. if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. I'm Dr. John. Bye for now. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me. Glutagenic is high potency glutathione products that are absorbable into your body and into your brain. Because glutathione is the master antioxidant, you should go to glutagenic.com and explore glutathione.